All right. Get him out of here. Tyler, what did you do? He's gone. He's just... gone. I know, but you... Shut up. Just take her body in the back. Vince, I'm so sorry for what happened between us. For what I did. Let's not do this all over again, okay? I thought I had a reason for things. That I was doing what I had to, to stay whole. To be who I was meant to be. But it's all just excuses, isn't it? We should have sent her to a hospital. It's what she wanted. I had to respect it. But what's happening? Come on, stay with me. Vince, why am I lying here? Was I in a car accident? You're scaring me right now, honey. Oh, God. Uh, uh, it hurts. Where's my baby? Where's Zoe? We got her out. Remember? She's, she's safe now. <laughs> Listen, I, uh, I have morphine. It'll ease the pain, so you don't have to feel whatever might be about to happen. Vince... I don't know. What, what if I fall asleep and don't wake up? Let me make the pain go away. Please. Okay. I trust you. <laughs> Don't be afraid. You can let go now. It's okay. Vince, I am so, so sorry. Kid wasn't here. I keep thinking the same thing. You and me have something in common. Both lost people tonight. Should I express my pain by killing someone in cold blood? Look, I gotta ask. When you were out there, earlier, did you know what was gonna happen to Dale? Only once I saw the sniper. So you could have warned him? 
Like you warned Michelle? Or Joyce? This is all so goddamn fucked up. Don't you point that thing at me. Ma'am, this is a live operation. Uh, Sheriff, uh, should I arrest her? Sharon? Sharon, you, you can't just... What the hell do you think you're doing? It's Ma. Dante, please. My boys are in there. They wouldn't have robbed my house without you knowing about it. Besides, it's been kind of a messy night. Still, if you want them out, you let me in. Dispatch, stand by. We have a situation developing. Excuse me, deputy. Uh, Sheriff? Sheriff, better not make me regret this. Open up before he changes his mind already, will ya? Hmm. Uh. Ma? Why are you here? Hey, Mama. Hi, sweetheart. Where's Dale? Oh, God, no. Ma, I'm sorry. You were supposed to look after him. <laughs> Sharon, I'm... I'm so sorry. How did it happen? Romero. Drew us out to talk about a helicopter. And he had a sniper. What, he just... lured him out there like... like an animal? Got something to say? Nope. Go on. You think my Dale had it coming, don't you? He killed my wife. You think she had it coming? Is that true? He didn't do it on purpose. What's your name? Vince. He's got a family. Family man, huh? I get that. You probably think my boys are monsters. But we have lost so much. And now, Dale... I am not losing anyone else. So you help me take care of my family? I'll help you take care of yours. Deal? We should talk in private. That idiot Dante thinks I'm helping him. Jay, sweetie, don't you worry. We'll get you out of here. Sorry about your wife, by the way. I mean that. Jim? Are you okay? No. Oh, it's nothing. I'll be fine. That is, if you don't get us killed. Wanna tell me about that pager? It's from the sheriff. Vince, that's very, very dangerous. If you get caught, or he asks you to put yourself at risk. You said Dante called you out to talk about a helicopter? I asked him to get us out of the country. Take us to Mexico and figure shit out from there. I had to pick a side. I don't like the sheriff, but I like the Holtz even less. I'll remind you of that later tonight, once we're all dead. Thanks for that, Jim. I just hope Zoe's okay out there. This night is too much for any kid.
Dante, it's Sharon. Oh, for crying out loud, just listen. Forget the helicopter. What we want is a school bus. Big enough for us and the hostages. They're coming too? We're safer that way. Well, I know I said that. Is it my fault you're gullible? Stop, 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 stop. Look, if this goes until morning, you'll have the state police here, maybe the FBI. And we both know that having them on your turf is the last thing you... <sighs> I can live with that. Call me when it's ready. What do you want? Um, I need to use the bathroom. Figured you'd want to stand guard or something. You first. <sighs> so, uh, Jay, what's that sent for anyway? John? Jeremy? Nothing. That's just my name. Go on. I'll stay here. That book you have. Huh? Can I see it? This? Why? I just really love birds. Especially, you know, the uh, tropical ones. Like the humming dragon. There's no such thing as a humming dragon. Yeah, here, I'll show you. Huh. Some kind of hiding place. Where'd you get this? It belonged to the sheriff. I... I thought... There was something in it. Could you have dropped it somewhere? I don't know. Maybe in the truck. I need to tell Tyler. No, wait. Don't do that. Uh, why not? Because he's gonna say it's your fault. You saw how pissed the sheriff is. What if it's all about this book? It's not my fault. Tyler and Ma are the ones who planned all this. Look, let's just keep this between us. We'll go to the truck, find what was inside, and no one has to know. Please. If I take you out there, and you try anything... I won't, I swear. We'll go to the truck, then come straight back. <sighs> Fine. Thank you. You're doing the right thing, Jay. For your family, too. Tails. Big deal. I promised Ma we'd fix this roof. It won't last another storm. Here. Make yourself useful. I replaced most of them. Need you to cut me some new ones. Think you can handle that? I've done it before. Mm. Fine. Easy enough to saw. Easy enough to fuck up. So don't. I won't. Bro, what kind of timber you got there? Uh, ain't softwood, so... You saying you got hard wood? That's right. Hey, Tyler. Says he's got hard wood. 
Maybe you need a cold shower. I don't. <laughs> oh, look at his face. Almost forgot. I got something for you. Yeah? Whoa. <laughs> Should've known better. I fucking taught him that. Uh, hey. Wanna get high? Nah. Still got some shit to unload. I don't think so. Sure? <laughs> Whoa! Don't let go. Don't let go. <laughs> well, lucky, lucky. I hope I ain't disturbing your fun. Pa? What? No hug for your old man? Oh, fuck. Party's over. Hey, boys! I guess you finished the roof, then. Seeing as you giggling like a bunch of girls. See for yourself. It's coming along just fine. What? That's your work? No. It was me. Well, you ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, but you're better than your brothers. Faster, too, I'd wager. Would have finished it sooner if you bothered helping us. I had business in town. <laughs> and how much you lose this time? <clears throat> Come on, Jay. You ain't too old for a whooping, Tyler. Hey, fuck off and leave him alone. Do yourself a favor, son, and step aside. When my pappy used to take off his wristwatch, it was because it was time for a beating I wouldn't forget. Hold this. In God's name, are you fighting over this time? Nothing. Just complimenting the boys on the fine work. I didn't hear you come back. Why? Were you gonna roll out the red carpet? <laughs> so you can tramp your dirty boots all over it? <sighs> Cleaning up another of your messes is the last thing I need. Now, is someone please gonna tell me what this is about? Jay? I, uh, caught some cottontails. Thanks, son. Always thinking of us. You don't have to cover for your daddy. Uh... I ain't cooked enough for five, so if you want lunch, you're making it yourself. No, thanks. I lost my appetite. Jay, you better take those rabbits inside. I'll skin them later. We'll be right along. I'll fix us some cold drinks. you <laughs> hello son I represent some business acquaintances of your father's ah 
That is good. I can see this is a well-run home. Anything I can help you with, sir? Now that's what I like to hear. Help me, you most surely can. Hmm, now let me guess. You're too young to be Dale, and Tyler is much taller, or so I understand. Which means you must be Jay. I've been sent with a requisition. A what? Is your father home? He was here, but you're too late. Ah, shoot. Now that's a shame, because my employers are most insistent. They sent me to collect a down payment. Huh? Hmm. May I? No. <laughs> Please, I think it's time you went. You know what? You're rude. And I'm out of matches. <sighs> Listen, son. I'm not a violent man, but the people I work for, if your pa doesn't pay his gambling debt, with interest, owing money will be the least of his troubles. Ain't nothing to do with me. It's his problem. Yes, but sins of the fathers, I'm afraid. Interesting. Swiss? <laughs> the watch. A collector's piece, I think. Yours? No. It, it ain't worth much. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. If you give me the watch, I'll talk to my employers and explain the circumstances. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Do we have an agreement? I ain't agreeing to nothing, so back off. Just like your father, always playing the wrong hand. Ow! Get off me! Keep still, you little runt. Jay, I forgot my damn watch. I told your people to stop bothering me. Now get off my property and go back to whatever piss stinking hole you crawled out of. You've dug your own grave, Holt. Your families, too. You'll be hearing from us. Bring it on. I see you or any of your shit-heeled friends back here. I'll burn you alive. I tried to take it. No. I asked you to take care of it. You did. It's yours. Mine? Took some guts standing up to that son of a bitch. I'm proud of you, son. Thank you. Who was that? Jehovah's Witness. <sighs> More of your bear shit. Jay, what was that? <sighs> For the love of God, Jay, I have a right to know what's going on in my own house. He wanted money. Jay. For a gambling debt. Ugh. He said there'd be trouble if we didn't pay. Jesus Christ, Bear. Mm. How much? I'll take care of it. How? By walking away? Bear, I'm talking to you. I said it's not your problem. But I'll be left picking up the pieces like always. If all you've got to offer us is trouble, why do you even bother coming home? Even when we've got nothing, 
He takes it away. It's all right, Ma. It's all right. Is it just me or do more cars keep arriving? Nah, he's just moving them around. Probably saw them do it on cops. Or he's three steps ahead of you. He played chess in high school, you know. You ready? Yeah. doing this. Yeah, that makes two of us. Where'd you park your truck? It's in a shed. Out back. Whew. No fear. Gonna be awesome. Isn't he turning off the lights? Halfway there. There. Gee, thanks, Sheriff. You okay? Couldn't be better. Hey, where were you sitting? Kind of all over. You check the cab. I'll check the bed. Wanted? Huh. It's just numbers. Department of Water and Power, twelve thousand dollars. East Side Land Holdings, eight thousand. There's hundreds of these. What are they, bribes or something? Hey. You alright? It's nothing. Just that we're so caught up in all this shit. You, me. The sheriff, my family, if you knew what I've seen the last few weeks, it's all just so messed up. <sighs> You're not messed up, though. You seem like a good kid. How would you know? You're sensitive, you're smart, you know right from wrong. Ain't that smart. I'm going to jail after this. You ever have something you thought about doing, but you knew it was too dumb to actually go do? Sure. I used to be an aircraft mechanic. Fixed up 747s and little Cessnas and everything. But when I was a kid, I didn't want to fix planes, I wanted to fly them. In fact, what I really wanted to be was a flight instructor. So why didn't you? Yes, life happened. Got older. Other things felt more important. But seeing how everything turned out, maybe I should have tried. I always wanted to be a forest ranger. I wanted to go to that one place with the geyser. What's it called? Yellowstone. Yeah, that's the one. See that thing spout in the air? That'd be cool. Tell you what, let's get out of here alive tonight. Maybe we'll both get to rethink our lives a little. We should be getting back.
You ever been married? Sure, to Vince's mother. I was too once. She left me. Said I drank too much. Wait, that's it. Sharon's bar. Didn't you come through here, what, 15, 20 years ago? Said you were some traveling salesman or something. Hey, I am telling you, drop it. What are you doing over there? Uh, nothing. This is uh, just... No <sighs> Ma, you better look at this. He's been talking to the sheriff. Vincent, give me the book. Look, if I don't give him what he wants... <clears throat> What is all this? Just can't believe he wrote it all down. Put me through to the sheriff again. I know. I'm inside it. Dante, it's Sharon. Your little whack-a-mole in here just got himself caught. I've got your little black book, and I'll gladly start faxing pages to Channel 10 unless you get me that bus in the next 30 minutes. How long till the FBI gets here? Under an hour. All right, Sharon. You win. Boss, you sure? We could wait him out. Bring the goddamn bus. You shouldn't have come. It's not safe. Those cops, they shoot first, ask questions later. Hmm. Shouldn't be much longer now. How are you doing? About, you know, Michelle. You know, I kept blaming her for everything that happened to me. For things she said after the accident, for encouraging me to take that pet food job. Hmm. But she was just trying to help me move on. You've had a rough year, Vance. I'm sure it was hard for her, too. I know what I want to do about those settlement papers she wanted me to sign. Once we get out of here. Oh? I'm not gonna do it. I know where she was coming from, but... I'm gonna hire a lawyer and sue those bastards for all they're worth. Really? Well, in the car earlier, I was just giving you a hard time. Huh. No, you were right. It doesn't even matter if I win. I'm just not gonna take it lying down. Huh. Then I'm proud of you, son. You mean... I guess the bus will be here any minute. We can't go home again? Wait, Vince. In case we don't make it. Ah, uh, Jesus. Okay, look. My cancer. It's not as bad as I made it out. In fact, it... Uh, it doesn't exist. I made it up. What? A year or so ago, my closest friend Tony passed. And suddenly, I was alone in the world. My brother was long gone. I had nobody left. Except you. But after everything I'd done, the way I left you, I, I knew you wouldn't let me back in your life unless... You gotta believe me, Vance. It came from a good place. What do you mean, a good place? It came from your crazy imagination. It's like I said before. I'm getting older, and I wanted to know you again. That part wasn't a lie. <sighs> I can't believe I considered letting you move in with us. 
You have every reason to be angry. But Vince, you lost your wife tonight. And I want to be there for you, for Zoe. I, I walked out on my family, but I can be there for yours. You're all I have, Vince. So I'm coming clean. Can you give me another chance? My whole life has been one lie after another. How can you ever expect me to trust you after this? I... I don't know. I just hoped. When tonight's over, I think it's best we go our separate ways. No. I... I understand. Everybody, on your feet. Listen, everyone. The only way any of us gets out of here tonight is on that bus. Hostages at the windows, us in the aisle. You sure this is gonna work? I won't pretend I'm sure of anything. But I know what this family's capable of. Why is the chassis so low? Huh? Get out of the way! Bus is open. I repeat, bus is open. Take them out! Jay! Get up! Jay! Jay! Jay, get up. What? Pa? Are you hurt? I need you to drive me to the hospital. Get dressed. Don't worry, Pa. I'll get you there. I understand why you told your mom about the dead. But you got her all wound up and worried now. I just wanted to do the right thing. I know, son. But sometimes doing the right thing is doing the wrong thing. You'll understand that someday. <sighs> she used to think she could fix me, you know. All she wanted was a good man who'd love her back. Nobody wants to be alone. Not least your mom, anyway. So, when a woman like that says she wants you gone, well, you start thinking maybe she's right. Maybe the family don't need me no more. Even I know when to cash in the chips. You gotta stop. I've tried, son. But once you get a taste for winning, you just want it more. Turn off here. The hospital's the other way. We ain't going to the hospital. Huh? Make the turn. How did you... How did you hurt your shoulder, Pa? You're a good kid. I know they say you're not supposed to have favorites, but... Tyler's trouble is too like his mall. 
Dale's is that he's too much like me. You're different. I can talk to you, son. Trust you. stopped here. Help me get this tarp off the back. It's heavy. Pa, what's inside? You got it? Pull. Keep pulling. Come on. He's dead? Jay, you have to listen to me. He threatened us. You heard him. So I, I went to warn him off. That's all. He attacked me, and I hit him. Uh, too hard. He fell and hit his head. I, I didn't mean to kill him. I just panicked. I guess he just got what was coming. It wasn't your fault. Exactly. You lay down with dogs, you get fleas. That's what my pappy always told me. These people are sharks. You let them smell blood, and they'll eat you whole. I wish I gave him the watch. Ain't just any old watch, son. Like I said, belonged to my dear old pappy. And now, it's yours. So you keep it someplace safe. Okay. See if he's got any cash on him. Anything? Nothing. Mm. Uh, ain't much, but it's better than nothing. He had a family. So do I. Didn't stop him coming after me. <clears throat> pa, what are we gonna do? He's dead. Only one thing to do. Dig. Please, don't ask me to do that. Jay, listen to me. No one can find him. If we don't do this, the people he works for... Please, I ain't asking for me. Think of your mom. Think of your brothers. You're the only one I can trust. Pick up the shovel. I... I can't. Sorry. You want a job done properly, you gotta do it yourself. Now listen, when I was half your age, we had this young horse. Beautiful colt. Rode him most days. Then, one summer, he threw me. Started bucking and biting. I was lucky he didn't kill me. Next day, Pappy hands me his rifle. Says, when an animal goes bad, all a man can do is put it down. Yeah, I can still smell his whiskey breath as he holds that horse steady. Counts to three. I squeeze the trigger and all those years I hated him. Now I know he was right. It had to be done, son. You hear me? It had to be. 
please. Oh, help shit. <laughs> we gotta cover him up before he... Help me. Trust me, son. We'll be doing him a mercy. Help me. Please. Bury him. Do it, Jay. Do it, Jay! Bury him! We have to help him, Pa. Then I'll do it myself. Oh, God. Jay. Look like you need it. Not for me. Too early. Ain't early. It's late. Still, no thanks. Well, after tonight, I do. You take care of your grandpappy's watch, you hear? Been keeping time on a Holt's wrist since the Great Depression. So you treasure it. Look, what happened tonight? It wasn't easy for me, neither. But I did it for all of us. And I don't blame you for thinking bad of me. I know I'm hard on you sometimes. And maybe I'm just no good. But I've made a lot of sacrifices, Jay. Going off to war. Taking care of that stranger tonight. Family means sacrifice. Even for a fucked up old drunk like me. They got places you can go, you know? Meetings? You can get help. Oh, they don't help old dogs like me. They just put them down. You saved a man's life tonight. And that makes you a better man than me. But it won't change things. It's my blood they'll want. It doesn't have to be like this. We can go to the cops. And tell them what? I tried to kill a man and bury him alive? These people. They ain't afraid of the law. <sighs> I brought this on us. So, it's on me to fix it. Now, get some sleep. I'm gonna go fix that roof you boys messed up. Sharon, you're not right about much, but you were right about me. Claim the insurance, it'll clear the debt. Sorry for everything. Pa! Pa! Let me do this. Please.
No, 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 don't die, don't die. <laughs> Left me. You're still my pa. I don't want to lose you. Life ain't about what you want. Your boy's act of mercy towards me buys you two weeks. But the debt remains. And if we don't pay? The next time you see me and my friends outside, you'll be digging your own graves. Oh, God, Bear, if you'd only talk to me. Now he's got so many pipes and tubes sticking out of him, he ain't gonna be saying anything. For now, I should have let him swing. Two weeks? Even if we had two years, we couldn't raise that kind of cash. It's vintage. Valuable, I think. <laughs> that old thing? It's a fake. Trust me. Pa couldn't even give it away. Uh, you wanna hear my pitch? I say we rob the bank. Could work. Dumb right. Now, hold on. Nobody is robbing a bank. It's too risky. But maybe there's another way. Support. Ma, it's over. We can't win. Dear God, please let this work. What are you doing? Improvising. Oh, shit! Run, run, run! Come on, son. We can't stay here. I know. I'm going fast as I can. Jesus, what now? Oh, that's not good. We need to get out, now. Come on. Mother! Paul! Get out of there, the whole place is going up! We're gonna have to jump. Grab my hands. Here we go. Oh, crap. Finch! What happened? Don't wait! Get clear of the building! Who's 
084. We have multiple officers down. Abandon the hilltop. We need urgent backup. We're headed down now. Over. <sighs> what a freaking mess. <sighs> Hey, have you seen Sharon Holt? Does she have the book? You... You crashed a bus into us. Oh, so you could... What, get your journal back? No, Vince. What I did was change the conversation. How could I know the Holts would turn the whole place into a barbecue? asshole. You don't care about us. You're just a thug with a badge. You best watch your mouth, son. Sheriff, this is Coburn. Are you still in the back? Do you need support? Stand by for a minute, Coburn. Look, I appreciate you trying to help. This town doesn't run without me. Even my most loyal deputies know better than ask how or why. That book could bring down a lot of people. Myself included. So, let's call it even, shall we? Fuck you. On second thought, maybe I will take you in for questioning. <laughs> <laughs> All we needed was a place to hide. And now my brother's dead! That wasn't my fault! You think you're Bruce Willis, huh? Undercover, fighting off bad guys? Well, guess what? You're just an overweight, middle-aged nobody who should have shut up and stayed out of it! Let him go. It's over, okay? It's done. No, it ain't. Shoot him, Jay. Do it! What are you waiting for? He would have killed me. I'm your family. Your family! If you do this, you'll be a murderer. Is that really what you want? Jay, give me the gun. No! Get off me! Zoe, no, now I got you out of here. You're supposed to be in the car. The policewoman disappeared, and I wanted to find you, so I crawled into the gate. Let's shoot open that gate and get the truck started. She's six years old. Don't you think she's seen enough for one night? So have my boys. So have I. I'm sorry, Vince, but we need her. Please, please, I don't want to go. Wait, 
You need a hostage? Take me. Yeah, right. After what you just pulled? Ah, uh, we gotta go. Wait, look! Look, I'm no lawyer. But in Arizona, there's a death penalty here, right? Because if you take Zoe, and anything happens, no jury's gonna let you off for that. But if, if it's me, if I come willingly, maybe I was even in on it. He's making sense. Fine, let's just go already. Go on, then. Daddy! Oh, God, Zoe. Come on. You're with us. I have to leave, Pumpkin. Please don't go. Please. Go find Grandpa, okay? Okay. And hey, if I don't make it back, you always stand up for the people you love. Okay? Let's go. I love you, Zoe. Oh, oh, all the way to the moon. Say you're the reinforcements. Lawrence Bradley, FBI. Jesus, this was a massacre. The sheriff was found unconscious. Everyone else was caught in the blast. We've got four deputies dead. Maybe more after the burns they took. And no sign of the perps. Let's get a helicopter in the air. That's it. Nice and quiet till we're past the tracks. I tell you, if Bear could see us now. Don't talk about him. This is all his dumb fault anyway. was the person he wanted to be. And this is where it got us. She's gonna be alright. I know. Jay, eyes on the road. The place I want is the edge of darkness, where thoughts stop and memories die. Do you hear that? <sighs> Step on it! Ma, what do I do? We'll make it. Just keep driving. You down. Jay! What are you doing? Turn off your engine. Do not attempt to exit the vehicle. It isn't working. It never does. I get a few seconds of peace. Then instinct takes over.
truth is, there's still too much to forget. Not just the motel, but what happened afterward. I won't sleep much tonight. I never do. I'll try again tomorrow. Go tell that.